it's Isabel from Bell Around the World. Right now we're in Panama. As you can see how green it is. It's such a big difference from the last few places that we've been in Bolivia and Peru. And it's quite a difference because as you can see it's really warm and humid now. Even though, yeah, because it's the dry season now um, in February. So we weren't planning to come to Panama but because we were booking with Copa Airlines and Copa Airlines belongs to Panama so technically we have four days, four full days in Panama and we were deciding a lot between renting a car versus just staying in Panama City and doing day trips which was eventually what we did after consulting with a few of our tour operator friends And so the first day, we did San Blas, a full day tour. We got up at 4 a.m. We did a full day tour to two islands. The second day, we went to Bayano Caves. It's around three kilometers, and we're going in with our torches. We have a guide and some Mexican tourists. So let's go. And apparently, we're gonna get wet, like waist deep wet. So get ready. Which was really fun because we got we got really wet in the water and we saw really cool stuff like bats and even snakes in the cave. Today is our last day in Panama City and we thought what better way than to explore a little bit further away from the city. So now we are in Metropolitan National Park which is a national reserve and they have uh, a lot of signages here that talk about how they have they are trying to conserve and protect the wildlife around here. The fauna and the flora. And we have reached the top of the Mirador. It took us around one hour to get up here, so I would suppose another 45 minutes to get down. For foreigners, it's $4 for entry and it opens on Sunday. So one thing you want to note here is that on Sunday, most places are closed. We went around looking for a money changer and none of them were open, so it's best to just draw money from the ATM. So yeah, I think most of the attractions are open on Sunday, so that's not an issue. What we're going to do next is head northwards up towards the Panama Canal so that we can go see the canal, the famous canal in Panama. Let's go! We have finally finished our trail walk which was nice and sunny and warm and humid. The paths are really well paved. I think overall this place is really well maintained. When we first entered, there were a lot of guides to guide us um, on where we want to go. There are one, two, three, four different trails that you can do, ranging from super easy 30 minute walk round trip to um, a combination of different trails, which we took and that took us two hours. So that's nice. If you want to hire a guide, you can hire a guide as well. I think they can point you to the different animals that you can find in the forest. We took a bus here, which is really easy. You can just go to Google Maps and find the direction and then walk the remaining like five minute walk to the entrance. Or you can take a taxi or you can rent a car. Um, I think in general, this is a nice place to escape from the city. It's really dense forest here and it has nice views to the city.
I'm in the control panel of the canoe. And there's another fake guy over there. So here we are in Casco Viejo, which is like the old town of Panama. And in my opinion, a must-do if you're in Panama City. We are in Plaza Herrera now and like I love the view, you have a very nice rooftop bar over there and this is the American Trade Hotel which is luxury and super nice architecture. Um, the best way, in my opinion, to understand the old town is to do a free walking tour which is what we did when we first arrived here in Panama. It really gives an overview of the whole city and they even tell you about the history, the story of the Panama Canal and how all this old town architecture came about. So let's take a walk around the city. It's sunset, I hope. Maybe the sun has set, but let's take a walk around the city and admire the architecture. If you find um, these travel blocks useful, I would really appreciate if you like and subscribe to the channel. It's still growing and I would appreciate any form of support that you have. And if you want a full overview of our itinerary in Panama, the blog post is going to be up soon or is already up and you can find the full details in the link below in the description.